G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy as we approach the 2023 final series. Obviously, the uh, All-Australian squads have been announced. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video because I am in Greece right now. But today's video is going to be about whittling down that squad of 40 players selected to create my own personal 22. Now, there is a website where you can do this. We're going to go through it together. I will leave the link in the description as well. But I'm going to look at all the selections and try and complete the best 22 of the players in the league this year. It's going to be tough. And I I know that I'm going to anger some of you, but frankly, I'm hydrated by your tears. That's a joke. I actually do welcome uh, crit constructive criticisms on this channel. And of course, we're going to have our disagreements. There's no such thing as a football topic that everyone agrees on. But I'm going to give it a crack and uh, you can let me know how I did afterwards. Cool. So how this website works is it gives you the line of three at a time. And then I've got to fill out a back, uh, back three and then eventually a back six. And uh, these are the players available to me that are listed as defenders. Now, this is awkward because, you know, th there's some players you can only pick on certain lines and I, I can pick Jordan Dawson as a defender. I can't pick Nick Dacos on my back three, but I can put him at halfback. I, I sort of had a little play around before, um, but we're going to start with the back three. And I've kind of decided as well, I'm going to pick two key defenders. Uh, and the reason is because I just think that the smaller to medium types in this video, I think are more deserving. So uh, you're just going to have to deal with me there, bear with me there rather. And uh, I think that that means there's going to be one unlucky person between Harris Andrews, Wietering and more. But let's start with a smaller type. And who is is the first lock-in. Uh, James Sicily is probably my first absolute lock-in for a, a medium type. He's had a wonderful year, racks up possessions, takes marks, clearly fitted well into the captaincy and uh, arguably a shout for all Australian captain too, to be honest. But uh, we've started with Sicily and then we're gonna move to our first key back position. I'm gonna go Harris Andrews. He's had a terrific year for the Brisbane Lions. He's been all Australian before. We really came back into that form this year and I think he has been terrific. Gets a lot of one percenters as well. Then I'm gonna go another smaller type and I think the most next deserving one is Tom Stewart again an absolute you know mainstay in the All-Australian team it seems this guy's an absolute jet and he's had a wonderful year so Sicily, Andrews and Stewart I'm um, very happy with that back three let's see what the next three look like okay so I see uh, Nick Dacos has appeared who else just appeared I'm not too sure that might otherwise be the same um, I want to pick Dawson as a midfielder so he's going to make the team, guys, but bear with me because I'm not going to pick him on the halfback line. I will pick Nick Dacos because he does play a lot of his football there. Um, he does roll through the midfield as well, but I think I'd rather have him on the back flank and fit in other midfielders. Uh, Darcy Moore just wins over Jacob Wiedering for me. He's had an unbelievable year. He's like third in contested marks, really high in intercepts as well. Might even be, yeah, top three in intercepts as well. He's had a fantastic year and he's also been a wonderful captain and another candidate for All-Australian captain as well. So Wiedering is my unlucky player not to make the team. Mind you, I haven't picked the bench yet. We'll see what happens. Then I have to pick a running defender, I reckon. And I'm going to go with Jack Sinclair. Oh, it's tough. Dan Houston's also had a fantastic year. Callum Wilkie is another tough one. This is tough. You're gonna, I'm going to leave out players. I'm going to give it to Jack Sinclair. I think he's been terrifically consistent. I think he deserves a nod um, as that player. So unlucky Houston, unlucky Blakey, Wilkie, and of course, Jacob Wittering, like I said. So that's our back six sorted. Let's go next. So I wanted to pick Dawson uh, as, a, as a midfielder and I will off chuck, chuck him on one of the wings. He's been a, another player, I think there's a second or third, there's a first year captain. Yeah, Sicily, Moore and Dawson uh, that have really stepped into their leadership roles really well and potentially could be all Australian captain as well. So a lot of leadership qualities in this team and uh, has made the transition to midfielder fantastic. He's been a really key player and a chance for the Brownlow. So there's a walk up start to this team. Um, who else in the midfielder? I'm gonna go Bonton Pelly is my clear choice, I think. My favorite for the Brownlow, I do hope he wins it. He's had a terrific year, and I saw him against West Coast try and lift his side. He was unstoppable. West Coast had no answer. We still won the game, so that's great. And then I'm going to go a, a traditional wingman here, and I'll go Josh Dacos takes my other wing spot. I did think in my mid-season team, I didn't have any pure wings in that team and uh, got some criticism for that. But Josh Takos has had a wonderful year, rewarded with a, was a six or seven year contract at the Pies. Uh, absolutely fantastic effort. In fact, though, Errol Golden's been bloody good too. Golden's going to make the team chill. I'm just going to hit next. All right, half forwards. Okay, now this is tricky. So the key forwards, again, I might only pick two. No, I'm going to pick three. I'm going to pick three. But we'll start off with um, a medium forward. So Toby Green, walk-up start. Um, what, top five in the Coleman or something like that this year. Kicked uh, 60 goals. That's a sensational effort. Averages 18 touches, three goals a game. He's been terrific and uh, wins plenty of the footy too when he has to run through the midfield. Okay, center half forward, I will go... 
Uh, who are my options? So the key forwards will be Tex, Larky, and Kerno and Joe Danaher. Those are the four I have in front of me. Let's start with Tex. Second, the Coleman. Um, seems to be getting better with age. He's been unreal. Man's pretty old now. It's like it's like Tom Hawkins. Just like continues getting better. Don't really need to sell you that on too much. Oh, Carl Langford is technically, I think he's key position, isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty tall. But the other forward spots. Um, Am I cheeky and give it to a midfielder? Yeah, Petrarca, I might, because he does play a bit of forward as well. Um, let's chuck Petrarca on. That's the one cheeky one I'll do in this video, but he's, yeah, he's, that's probably what's going to happen in real life anyway. So Green, Walker, and Petrarca. Let's see who is next. Okay, um, I'm going to pick two keys and a, another small player. Okay, the small player I will pick is Charlie Cameron, top uh, five in the Coleman, I think. Uh, I, I, getting, I think I'm not getting that wrong. I think he kicked 53 goals. So I think that puts him about... Fifth. Maybe Green was fourth and Cameron fifth, but uh, that's a wonderful return for a small uh, small forward. He'd done it three years in a row, been super consistent. Second in the league for tackles inside 50, so elite defensive pressure. Like, what else could you really want from a small forward? Uh, then Charlie Kerno, uh, surprise, surprise, makes the uh, All-Australian team. He won the Coleman back-to-back. -back. He's been a terrific player this year and clearly the best forward in the game right now. And I will give a uh, spot to Nick Larkey as well to kick 70 goals and come third in the common, I think it was, because Tex had a big last game. Come third in the common, kicking 70 goals in a team like North Melbourne. Like, I, I give Oscar Allen a lot of credit for kicking 53 goals, but to, for Larky to kick 70, that is unreal. So, uh, congratulations, you make my All-Australian team. Okay, guys, before I continue with the rest of the video, I did want to bring you a message on behalf of the sponsors, Game Day Squad. As you may be aware, I've started working with Game Day Squad this year and been playing along with their brand new fantasy platform, which has been unreal fun. So, I've got a little message for you on behalf half of them. Another reason why I love playing Game Day Squad is that they are the only ones running AFL Fantasy through the finals this year. It's time to get your squads ready. This is going to be fantastic. You could be the only fantasy coach ever to win in finals footy for AFL. And if you have been playing throughout the season and perhaps you didn't go too well, well, this is your chance to start afresh and redeem yourself in finals and potentially still win some weekly prizes. Make sure you click the link in the description of this video. It is the top link. Create yourself a team if you don't have one already or make sure you're in the true footy league. Now, it is the following so who is all Australian ruck? Am I going to pick one or two ruck? It's actually really hard to choose between English and Marshall. I think those are the two that I want. Uh, and I think English probably gets it on the back of his outstanding first half of the year, even though I think Marshall's probably ended it better. Uh, I think I'm going to give it to Tim English, but I don't know how I feel about that. Marshall's been fantastic. Now you can't you can't not give it to Tim English. He's been wonderfully consistent. So congratulations, Tim English, on your first All Australian ruck. Man, remember a few years ago we would never have thought Tim English was going to be an All Australian ruck um, so soon, to be honest. All right, who is the on ball division? Uh, oh, well, this is tough. This is tough. There is a lot of elite names there. You've got Goulden. You've got Butters. You've got Sarong. You've got Rosie. Tom Green was a leading possession winner this year. Man, this is tough. Maybe I shouldn't have picked a traditional wingman. Um, look, Zach Butters is a walk-up start. I'm very comfortable with that. And I want to say Rosie, Sarong, and Goulden are also walk-up starts, as is Green. Uh, this is tough. Merritt's also had a terrific year as well. Someone's going to be bitterly disappointed with this. Um, I'm going to give it to... Errol Golden. I probably should have picked him on the wing, to be honest. You could just switch him and Dawson, really. That means, yeah, so English, Butters, and Golden. Uh, interesting. I will hit next and fill out my bench. I, I think I can choose whatever players to go here. So it makes sense to go one defender, two midfielders, and a forward. Let's start with... Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to pick Green. Oh, no. Do I go cheeky? Oh, Dusty. Far out. This is hard. This is so hard. I, I forgot about Dustin Martin there. Mind you, would I have changed him out for any of the forwards I've got on that list? I wouldn't switch him for Green. Wouldn't switch him for Petrarca or Charlie Cameron. Dusty I guess the, gets the bench spot, I guess. Who is the defender I pick? There's got to be a defender on here worth picking. Do I pick Callum Wilkie? I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick Callum Wilkie as my next best defender. Only because, you know, it would be Weedering probably, but I just didn't want to put a key back on the bench. Then I've got two midfielders, and I'm leaning towards, you know, Caleb Sarong is a, is a Monty, okay? So that's so far must, uh, Mustin, Dustin Martin, Callum Wilkie, Sarong, and I've got one midfielder to pick, and the two I'm, like, really conflicted about, uh, Tom Green and Connor Rosie. Tom Green, I think, is a leading possession winner this year, but I think... I think I'm leaning towards Rosie, to be honest. 
I'm also probably disrespecting Zach Merritt. He's had a terrific year too. But I think Zach, uh, I think it's going to be Connor Rosey and it kind of helps that he can rotate forward as well. He's kicked 20 goals this season as a goal kicking midfielder. You can't do much better than that. All right, let's see how that leaves me. Who are the unlucky ones? Oh yeah, um, Rowan Marshall, very unlucky. Houston, unlucky. Tom Green, very unlucky. Um, I mean, all these players in theory, but the most unlucky, uh, Zach Merritt too. Weedering. Yeah, God, I wish I could pick a six or 10 man bench. So let's have a look at this team. Um, Sicily, Andrews, Stewart, Dacos, Moore, and Sinclair. And the bench defender was Wilkie. Now, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, the midfielder's Dawson. I'd probably just switch Dawson. Can I switch Dawson? No. I'd probably just switch Dawson for uh, Golden in terms of position and get Dawson on ball because I think he deserves a starting midfield spot, but so does Golden. Uh, the half forwards, Green, Walker, Petrarca, Cameron, Kerno, Larky. So would Dusty displace any of those? You could probably make a case for him displacing. I don't know. I'm happy with him on the bench. English nudges ahead of Marshall as my Ruckman. Butters and Golden are my on-ballers. And then Dusty, Wilkie, Sarong, and Rosie make the team. There's, there's five or six players that I'm uncomfortable leaving out, but equally, all the players on the field there, I can't make a case for leaving out, to be honest. So that is my team, guys. Let me know in the comments what you agree with you and disagree with. I reckon, you know, not only is there a chance that I'm just plain old wrong, but we all just watch different amounts of football to each other. And we, we focus on different teams more than other teams as well. So going to be a lot of difference uh, in, in our opinions, guys. But let me know how you think I did and what changes you would make. As always, I appreciate you watching the channel and supporting it. Plenty more content to come when I get back from Greece. I've tried to set up the videos so that I made so many advance that you won't even notice I'm gone. So I'll be back uh, by week two. But as always, like I said, appreciate your support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.